Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. Excited to bring up um, someone who's somewhat attached to the family of the Entrepreneur Center, and that's Greg. And the topic that Greg's going to talk about is, uh, is not really talked about. And so it's really exciting to uh, bring him to the stage. But before I do, what most people don't know about Greg is Greg just got a new job. And when someone gets a new job, we got to give him a round of applause. Yeah. And he's moving on up. So he got a new job promotion. And uh, it's really exciting. He's going to talk about something that nobody's talked about uh, in terms of what it, it, similar to Chris's, it's gonna it's gonna make your imagina imagination go crazy. So, without further ado, it's exciting to bring Greg up to the stage. Thank you. I'm Greg Deluccio, and I'm in the lighting business. But this is not just about lighting. I believe that within the next five to ten years, all new construction in homes and commercial will be wired with low voltage DC power instead of high voltage AC power. So let me explain a little bit about these terms. The first thing I'm going to tell you is line voltage or AC voltage is the voltage that comes through your wall outlet from the power company into your wall outlet. It's about 120 volts AC. Low voltage or DC voltage is actually the voltage that most of the things that you plug into use. Now line voltage, as we all know, can kill you. It's very dangerous. It can give you an electric shock. It also is a risk of fire. It can burn houses down. So low voltage or DC voltage is in your house and you're familiar with it, you'll see it in, for example, USB plugs and in um, the output of little adapters and in data cables and things like that. You d you're not afraid of that stuff. You can even actually put it in your mouth. Nothing's going to happen to you. Now, we take all these high voltage wires and we run them through our home and it's the monster behind the walls even our children we are afraid that they're going to touch something there are 1100 deaths by electrocution in the united states every year seven all kinds of uh, fires and things like that but what are we doing we're taking that voltage and who doesn't have this in their house we're, tra we're changing it over to what our appliances can actually use why would we do that we put all these expensive devices in between us and then we have circuit breakers, we have um, ground fault circuit interrupters, tamper-proof receptacles, surge suppressors, all these things that we're trying to keep from getting killed by the monster behind the walls. Now, here's an Ethernet cable. You've all seen these. It plugs into the, your computer and it carries data and it connects all your smart devices together. And so here's, here's an example of how it would be used in a commercial situation where everything's... What about the data cable? Well, it's very low voltage. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even provide voltage unless it sees something on the other end that it understands. It's one-third the price of the wire that you use in your house. It can be installed by anyone, and it carries mostly signals. But guess what? It also carries power, a little bit of power. You can power up a, 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 a security camera with this thing, and they've actually raised it up a little bit to be able to power like routers and computers and things like that. You can put up to 100 watts on that. Guess what else you can do with 100 watts? You used to be able to only create light with about 100 watts for, for, for your bedroom table. Now, 11 watts in an LED light can actually light up your entire room. So what happens if we connect our lights direct? First of all, does anyone know how to install one of these? No, you need an electrician, right? You got to put it into an outlet box and everything. Here's a light. Suppose we power it with Ethernet. I just install it. Okay, so when you do that and you have a little bit of smarts built into the light, you can also talk to it because it's going back to your data center and it understands, I want you to dim it, I want you to change color, I want you to control it. It's cheap, one third the installation cost, no licensed electrician required, no risk of fire or shock, no AC to DC conversion, it's more efficient. And watch this, you can connect it up to batteries and it will always be on even if your service goes out. It connects directly to renewable power sources, which are also DC. Your wind power, your solar power, and everything else, those are all DC. What do we need AC for anymore? And by the way, you've also got these USB plugs. You can actually buy something right now 
that will connect all of those. And you think it's only your little products that will work on this? No, battery powered products with, that require a lot of power can also be DC converted. It's gonna be a while before the big stuff goes from AC to DC, from safe, from dangerous to safe, but as systems become more efficient, eventually we'll be able to convert those as well. So as people realize that this, which is your little structured wiring cable with the low voltage in the computer, is so much better than this, which is your big honking nasty killer thing, they're gonna wanna move everything over to that. And the review of the benefits is safety, efficiency, lower costs, battery backup, smart, controllable, the internet of things, everything talks to everything else. You can create data, you can, how much are my lights on? How much are they costing me? All of that, who of us will be the first to start doing this? <laughs> Thank you very much. So I was telling uh, Chris Contoy's family and, and his business partners just when you're up here, there are signals. What's the word? Signals, signals that you get when people are into it. Um, Chris, and usually when products or things that have like uh, real usage for people, uh, when people are talking about tangible things, the, when you know when people are into it, when you got them in goldfish mode. And you had them in goldfish mode. You know what goldfish mode is, right? Everybody's like this. <laughs> That, how many of you, that was like the best five-minute ShamWow commercial on crack, yes? <laughs> so, we're... <laughs> Golfing. Now all of you are like, I'm not opening my mouth. Um, where, where, where'd you get this idea? Where this is technology that uh, the two companies I've worked for, I work for Leviton, now I work for a company called MaxLite. We are actively working and designing products that, that connect to this technology, and it's, it's about to explode, it's about to go viral. How many of you are like, how many things in my house do I need to change? <laughs> yeah, what, what would you say is, will be the thing that, you know, like Malcolm Gladwell tipping point, what will be the tipping point? Commercial will go first. Once commercial um, and, and buildings like this realize that the amount of money they will save and the amount of control that they have. And by the way, you know, emergency lighting requires that if the power goes out, like one, at, one out of every 10 lights stays on that whole business goes away because now that your battery backed up, if the, if the supply goes out, the whole building stays on. This, I mean, there's just, as soon as people realize it and the commercial will realize it first, it'll move over into residential and it'll spread like a virus. So turn to someone, turn to someone and say, wow. wow. Give them a round of applause. Thank you.